fight between Hasim Rahman and Oleg Moskayev. It was our observation that Jay Nady seemed to warn Moskayev far more frequently for holding than Rahman, and there didn't seem to be that big a discrepancy in the activities of the two fighters in the ring. Later, Jay told us that that happened because Moskayev had told him during that pre-fight instruction that he was planning to hold Rachman until Jay Nady stopped him from doing it. So Nady was quite explicit from the beginning. Harold, how do you have this fight through three? Okay, Jim, 29, 28, two rounds to one, Orlando Salido. Jim, in rounds two and three, Orlando Salido did a nice job on the inside landing right-hand counter shots. I mean, Guerrero's coming forward, Salido would land the clean shots, just like he did right over there, landed a nice right hand. So based on clean punching, two to one, Salido. And CompuBox numbers bear out Harold's observation as the CompuBox count for power shots in round three is 14 out of 62 for Guerrero, 29 of 82 for Salido, including 15 power shot connects in the last 15, or uh, last minute, I should say, of the round. Both fighters have more or less dispensed with the jab, and just as I say that, Guerrero throws one and another. So suddenly they stand at distance for the first time uh, in a while. Right hand by Salido, Salido sneaks in a right hand lead across the top. Straight right hand against the southpaw, money punch, and Salido knows how to use it. For whatever reason, Guerrero is trying to box more this round, giving a little bit more room to Salido. And Salido is trying to take advantage of it by trying to land clean shots here and there, just enough to get the points. But Guerrero ducks and slips a couple and comes back with a good right hook which suggests that in, in the war of will, physical will, that Salido is gaining an, an edge. Yeah, his confidence is starting to grow, I see. And, and, and for whatever reason, Guerrero seems to be just a little bit slower than what I would like to see if I was win his corner. Tough veteran Orlando Salido presenting questions, tactical questions, to Eric the Ghost, or Robert the Ghost Guerrero, I should say, early in round four. Good body shots by Salido, and now clean right hand across the top. And so, now it's Guerrero oh, who's backing so, away. Straight right hand. The cleanest punch has been the consistent throughout this entire fight now that once the fighter's got his pattern has been the right hands by Salido. Not a lot of them, but they're clean punches. And they're swelling under the left eye of Robert Guerrero, probably as the result of those clean right hands. Guerrero has boxed the entire round after having mostly brawled for the first three. You won this round. How you feeling? Are you tired? Come on, take some air. We're going to take it easy in this round. Box him. Yeah. Keep just boxing him. Yeah. Cut and come back with the right hook. Yeah. Okay? Keep him at bay. Keep him at distance. You're smarter than this guy. Keep moving to your right and just keep boxing. But you got to let him go, too. Because if they didn't wait. Listen, Make them pay hard. When you let your hands go in those combinations, they've got to be fast and hard. Right here, you see Salido land a great right hand, right here, right on the chin. He was looking down, and I think Guerrero never expected the punch to come from that angle. Seemed to go right around his glove. Right around the glove, like right. A, like a long, like a, a home run that just curls around the foul pole. So Salido building an early working margin on Harold Letterman's scorecard, at least. We go into the fifth of a schedule 12, and early on it looked as though Robert Guerrero was here for a war of attrition and expecting to wear Salido down in the last two rounds now. Receding round, and this one he has elected to box. He's fighting now in the style that earned him the name Ghost. Right, but it seemed to be a little slow, particularly on his feet. It's, uh, he's not as nifty on his feet as he should be, I think.
And even though he lands punches, he's stumbling and falling a lot with bad balance, especially for a little small guy. He should be in and out a lot better. And when you think of how slick and how smooth Division Kingpin Juan Manuel Marquez is. Yes, it smooths in very gracefully and moves out gracefully. Where Marquez would have big advantages in foot movement against this guy. And the foot movement is a big factor. And a lot of these fighters I'm studying, nobody moves with their feet all anymore. They're just going straight in, forward, walking in, even the small guys. Floyd Almost Mayweather? Floyd is a little bit better. And that's a, that's a big advantage and may be a big factor tonight because Balamir is tough as he is. He's, he's not that good with his feet, though. Well, the second round in a row, it's Guerrero who backs up and Salito who comes forward. Early on, Guerrero was absolutely determined to go forward and was using all of his body to move Salito around the ring and do it. Swelling under the right or left eye, I should say, of Guerrero. Guerrero's boxing, but he's not sharp with it. But still, he's getting hit with a lot of punches. And that left uppercut, so much a factor in the first couple of rounds, has disappeared as the fight has gone on. I mean, obviously, Completely. from this distance, he's not going to be throwing any uppercuts. But frankly, that's a more effective punch than his right jab is, or his left cross across the top. Orlando Salido with a greater variety of punches. The ability to throw from more angles, and he has found more and more options as the fight has gone gone forward. Yeah, Guerrero is boxing, but he's like stumbling around boxing, and I don't know how it's going to work in the late rounds. The more crisp punches is coming from Salido. It's a good right hook across the top by Guerrero. One of his better punches in a while, but the momentum of the fight has shifted significantly in favor of Orlando Salido. Take a deep breath. Let me tell you something. You gotta start sticking this guy with a nice hard jab. Yeah. When he comes in, there's so many Make prime opportunities. He's leaning forward. Make a pay. Rip those uppercuts and into combinations. You gotta throw some hard, fast combinations. Come on, man. Put it together, Robert. It together, this is it, baby. Yeah, hey. Dig deep. He's a beaten fighter. What happened? Yeah. Dry the gloves. Yeah. Oh, por él. Hey, Orlando. Come on. Come on. Yankee. Vamos, Yankee. He's yours. Let's go. Go get him. Round six of a scheduled 12 in Las Vegas. Last preliminary bout before the main event of the evening between Floyd Mayweather and Carlos Baldemir. Robert Guerrero in the red trunks from Gilroy, California against Orlando Salido in the black trunks from Ciudad Obregón. And Salido's landed three good straight right hands already to start this round off. Salido, after 10 years as a pro without a title belt, trying to garner the belt that Guerrero won from a fighter named Eric Aiken in September. That's not the pinnacle of the division. Juan Manuel Marquez is the pinnacle of the division. Whether or not he has a belt, and who can, who can really follow the belt? Someone with a lot of time. You know, if you know, now a straight left hand across the top for Guerrero. Let's see if he can get something going after that punch. No, no, if you know who no. has all the belts in boxing, <laughs> um, you got to get a life. Well, there may be four or five writers in the sport I would nominate as candidates to at least try. Now Guerrero's going back to the bullying forward style a little bit, Emmanuel. The boxing right. didn't work. But he just looks sluggish tonight still. I've saw him much sharper than this before. And you saw the sense of urgency in his corner. 
yep. as John Bray was beginning to step up the rhetoric, saying, you'd better land some good stiff jabs. Well, and some faster punches, too, because I think John can feel that stop. he's not punching stop. with the speed or the accuracy that he should be punching with. That was a good left to the head. Probably the first time I've seen him land a good left hand to the head in a long time. Well, there was one earlier this round, but so he's had a couple, but uh, just hasn't been able to do much with his power hand, the left hand, other than the solid uppercuts to the body and one to the head in the first couple of rounds. Talking about Guerrero. Salida still landing punches from various different angles. Not big shots, but sharp shots. Guerrero's a busy fighter, and, and you know, if a judge goes for the guy who's busy for the most part, a lot of people, Guerrero would be winning these rounds. Uh, Salido's had a good volume of clean punches in the fight, but Guerrero's still been the guy that's been busy and pressuring the fight all the way. Reaching the midway point of the bout between Guerrero and Salido. A restless crowd waiting through this one as we get ready for Carlos Baldemir against Floyd Mayweather. Earlier you saw Jane Eddy's instructions to Floyd Mayweather. Here's what he said to Carlos Baldemir. Baldemir in his dressing room, and I correct myself, these are not referee Jane Eddy's instructions, rather just a chance to watch the Argentine fighter warm up. Walks around, he says, at 187 pounds. Then sweats himself down to 147 and gets into a very bad mood doing it which he likes. Yesterday, there was considerable suspense in the Baldemir camp as to whether he would be able to make 147 when he skipped on the scale the first time. So when that happened, when he made weight, there was an instantaneous lift in the Baldemir atmosphere. Yeah. They knew that yesterday became a day off at that moment instead of a working day. And they said it straight for the table after that. And that's why he come in at 162. Once again, our unofficial weigh-in totals tonight. Show us that Floyd Mayweather entered his dressing room weighing 149 after weighing in at 146 yesterday. And after weighing in at 147, Carlos Baldemir entered the building at 162. He'll have a 13-pound working advantage when, he get, when they get into the ring. Round seven, Harold, how do you have it through six? You know something? You got to look who's landed a clean of hardest shots. This is the kind of fight that you really, really got to concentrate on. And to tell you the truth, it's Orlando Salino. 59, 55. Five rounds to one, Salido. I think he's won the last five rounds in a row. He's got his feet flat. He sets down on his shots. He lands strong right hands, and Guerrero's just flailing away. Guerrero's left hand, left eye seems to be closing, so he's fighting at a disadvantage. But the clean hard punches are being landed by Salido. Five to one, Salido. I have it four to two, or whatever that's worth. Rounds four, five, and six. Salido has been in his comfort zone doing what he wants to do. And Guerrero has seemed frustrated and confused about whether he should be boring forward and fighting inside or whether he should be staying back and trying to box behind his jet. Now he's definitely in the brawl mode again. And taking hard body shots from Salido. Robert Bird's attempted right, pronunciation, stop. Stop cabeza, head in Spanish, trying to get the two fighters to keep their heads away from each other. It's a quick little left hand inside by Carrera and lands another little quick left inside and knocks Salido back into the ropes. But nothing big. Neither fighter has landed a really big shot since round three when Salido landed that sweeping right hand at the end of the round. Since then, it's pretty much been his fight. Good body shots by Salido. And Guerrero seems to be leaning forward more than throwing at this point. Yeah, he's just pushing forward. But, but nevertheless, he's the one that's still no, pushing no, the fight going. So I say, you know, it's still be a difficult fight to score. Stop. Much what? of the time, Manny, when he's leaning on Guerrero, and, I mean, uh, on Salido, 
trying to impose his physicality on him. Salito's throwing punches and yeah, landing. So, so Salito's definitely landing between blows. Robert Guerrero looking to find that one big shot inside that might change the fight for him. That's all. Battles down the stretch of round seven with Salito.